Rosalina and uh, Lucario and Luma. Because you already know it's 2v1. <laughs> Interesting that it's... Uh... Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, apparently uh, Luma was buffed in the most recent patch. We're not going to be playing with it. Uh, House yeah. makes it very sure that we don't have to worry about uh, mid-tournament patches happening. Yeah, that's messed up if ha that it happened. But yeah, right now Luma yeah. does have the, the buff, or the patch, was that if you hit Luma, she goes a shorter distance than before, which is... Such a massive buff. Like, awful. probably, that's probably <laughs> one of the reasons why Debugs is now playing Rosa here, just like... He's probably excited to play more mm -hmm. of her, considering the fact that that is honestly, that's huge. And remains to be seen what it'll really do for the character, but I think it might do a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodbye, Luma. I hate that sound. He's so sad. But right now, we'd be resting at 100, 100%. Really trying to make sure that he's able to... Well, I mean, he has aura now. So now the build has to be very careful. I mean, possibly using Luna yeah. to his advantage to make sure that Luna gets all the hard attacks and that Debuzz is able to come in and and, um, and exploit the, the distraction he provided. Oh, yeah, that's one, okay. One really nice thing about having Luma in the matchup is that Luma will just eat those Aura Spheres once they get launched. Um, at the same time, though, I mean, it seems like, what? He went for the back air and just wasn't fast enough, I guess? Okay. That's going to be the buzz with a stock lead here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now maybe has to possibly play a more patient game now. So I mean the aggressor must have to be a little more patient. And find as opportunities that he can. Especially when Luma is not in the stage at the moment. He's able to use these uh, moments to really like a lot of damage on the buzz. But now Luma's back on the stage. So we'll focus on Luma at the moment. And make sure that the buzz doesn't have Luma to protect him. Again, Luma taking that Aura Spirit to the face and making sure the Buzz is not able to get a punish, like, get hit by it. That forward air hitbox is much bigger than you'd think. Yeah. But, and Buzz went deep for that. But I mean, you know, Lozalina does have the kind of recovery where it affords that oppor sort of opportunity. Oh, VV was stuck between a hard, rock and a hard place for a second yeah, on the ledge. Look at that. The Buzz is putting up so much pressure, and he's not even anywhere close. He's all the way across the no, stage, and he still runs it for the upstairs. What I say! Luma's gonna take that Aura Sphere, and then the, and then the Buzz is gonna punish you for it. Yeah, it's, it's one of the really, really cool things he does. Yeah. Not only does he have expert Luma control. Oh my god. Oh boy. Who, oh buddy? He got like. What's the word? Ball, like, like, you know, ping ricocheted? Pong. Yeah, he got bing bong between them. <laughs> ping bong. Wait, what'd you say? I think, ping pong. Oh, bing bong, ping ping pong. pong. <laughs> Taking that first off of the buzz. Oh my god. You know, he got bing bong between them, okay? All right. <laughs> it was so we scary. have to make up new onomatopoeias for the stuff that the buzz is doing right now. Oh, oh. Is, it, is it the 11 count, I think? Is what he was able to do and get out of that, uh, that constant attack and on his shield. And that shield pressure. And, you know, this is... Normally, when I see BB at 115%, I'm like, well, this is definitely still an even game. It doesn't matter if suck out. Like, as, as soon as... Whenever he's in the red, there's always the opportunity that he makes the comeback happen. At the same time, though, like, the buzz seems to just be playing expertly around it. Why are you approaching him? Whoa! He's in his face! He's... The Buzz is also a player who's able to just barely skid by a lot of the card attacks. That Aura Sphere, he, had, he, was, he was perfectly placed with that short hop to avoid it completely. And there goes Numa. Yeah. Honestly, the fact Our that Luma. the Buzz went aggressive when his Luma died right there, while Lucario was at like 120 and he was at 50, I think that like th there's definitely the thought process, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like it's, oh, I need my Luma to respawn, but I don't want to be stuck panicking, holding shield, trying to run away from this super scary Lucario. Instead, he's like, I'm going to stay on him. I'm going to be throwing out neutral airs right in his face. I'm going to be back airing him and just... You know what the problem with, with Rosalina is on the opponent side? Is I find myself looking at Rosalina more than I look at Luma. Mm. And I completely forget Luma is even a, a target oh, because... Because, um... The buzz did the same attack twice. And Vivi got... Missed the first one, perfectly fine, and then got hit by the second one because Luna was the one to connect it for the buzz. Three, two, so we have, to, we have to be really vigilant go. about watching Luma and making sure you know her positioning and what she's going to do. Look how far! Like, that's basically an extra like length of arm that Rosalina has. 
with Luma so far in front of her, using being used as a shield against uh, VB and like just in general other characters that he's fighting against. But right now, oh my god, it's gonna be a zero death or not? Okay. Okay. Luma, doing, Luma doing her best over there. Now that was all naked without Luma for a second and was being... What, oh! What?! <laughs> Did you see that?! Luma came back for the, vengeance! The, the, the ledge jump up air that somehow actually connected into yeah. Rosa's? That was nutty. I want to replay on that. That was nutty. That's... The buzz. The fact that he's trapped the ledge and he's able to go for some reversal like that? I don't think I got it. Right, good down smash to finally take it, and now this is looking like an absolute slobber knocker. The Buzz figured out exactly what he needs to be doing, and despite the you know fear factor that Lucario is supposed to inspire, I don't see it. you know the Buzz is a calm star right now. Absolutely, right now the Buzz only forty percent. Are you serious? Or sixty percent? Okay, kind of getting a little bit of damage there, but there goes Numa and Luma and. Now the buzz, uh, he used to be so defensive when he had, didn't have Luma protecting him, but now he's playing more aggressively, like you said earlier. There's a complete. I, I wonder what the what the what the state of mind is, what the thought process behind this. I, I think it's that he just he knows that normally that's when Lucario wants him playing aggressive, and he's just throwing him for this loop. And again, the buzz using that. Oh. Luma, we, how'd you get over there, buddy? I was gonna say the same thing. I, I thought it was just me who didn't see Luma go from one side of the stage back to the ledge. I, how, but does I, he, how does the buzz do it? I'm telling you, that's a problem with Luma. You don't pay oh. attention to it. Hit him, hit him. And, oh. and even worse, Luma somewhat blends into the stage when it was that color. It was... <laughs> Now it's like bright red. Extremely tactical from the buzz. He's like, I will let four Lumas die until I get the exact Luma oh color. Oh my god! To I don't think that, no, I don't think that's necessarily what he's uh, what he's really. Looking for. I will let four Lumas die before I get my stock taken. All right, now we're seeing this more of a defensive debuzz while he's mm -hmm. missing Luma, trying to run away, and for the most part, it's working out. All right, Luma back now in the picture. Let's see. If he can use this little star to her at best advantage. No, this is still a scary position if you're the buzz, because if you're not able to close out this final stock. Yeah, I mean, definitely the buzz definitely trying to keep more of a distance away from Vivi now rather than before. Knowing that Vivi's a just dangerous up close. Oh yeah. Whoa! Pairing that extreme speed and oh Luma that once again so taking that stock. Sends Luma down right below the ledge. I don't think it, I don't think that might have even been a two frame, but like, just brilliant stuff from the Buzz. Mm -hmm. He got knocked into losers bracket by Jen, and he's definitely yeah he's pissed off about that one. Ready cams. Yeah, and by the way, in case you don't know why that works, it's because even if as soon as she inputs the aerial, even if the aerial gets interrupted by her hitting the ground, Luma will still attack. That's actually the um. The, the reason why lunar landings work with the character. Okay. Lunar landings, it's basically, it's something that existed even in Smash 4, where if you, uh, basically if you input a aerial within the frame of the auto-cancel window in the front of it, mm -hmm. then Rosalina will land on the ground, it'll auto-cancel, she has no aerial lag, but Luma will still do the attack for it. Wow. So, you know, some, some of her aerials are more lenient than others. I know back air, for instance, it's a relatively lenient window where you can just like have Rosa land on the ground, shield and Luma attacks at the same time. That sounds there's some there's a